Hey guys, Alan Newell coming to you from the Good Inside YouTube channel. And uh, once again, welcome to Touched on Essentials, the Good Inside. And I want to cover a couple of quick little uh, things today that are just when you start your business, you got to know. And uh, they're simple things, but we're going to cover them anyway. And uh, the first one is, um, you know, how do I log in to my back office? Well, you've got to, when you, when you registered, you got a username and you got a password. You set up a username and a password. And so when you go to your Touchstone site, your affiliate site, and I recommend that you always go to your affiliate site. That way, the cookies and the pixels on your computer remember your site, and when you're sharing information, you're always sharing from your site. As you can see, this one I have pulled up is fit.thegoodinside.com at the top of the screen. And so, to get into your account, it's real simple. You just, on the right-hand side over here, this is where a new member would join and save. This is where a customer would shop. This is my account. And when you highlight my account, you're gonna see that that screen comes up, your cursor over there, log in to my office. You can log in to shop if you just wanna shop, or you can log in to your back office where your business is contained. Everything you need to know about your business is there. When you click on to log in to my office, it's gonna carry you to the member login screen. You enter your username, in this particular demo account I've got, the username is New Start, okay? And then you're going to enter your password. Uh, and so once you enter that, then you click log in. Really simple. If you're, if you're not a member, it'll ask you to join today, but here you're gonna click log in. When you log in, it's gonna carry you into your back office where you've got lots of information back here. We're gonna cover this information on a later video, okay? Now, the second thing that I wanted to cover was is uh, customer support. Oh my gosh, I wanna log into my back office, but I have forgotten what my username and password is. So I need to contact support. Well, we have an amazing customer support team, uh, customer support channels, and there's three ways to contact customer support. Uh, and, and the best way, in my opinion, during business hours is the chat bar. In the bottom right-hand corner of the screen you're looking at right here is chat. Now, that's just much quicker and much easier to use uh, because you're going to be put in a queue and, and they can work with you and chat with you while they're doing other things. It's really simple. You just click on the chat. The little chat comes up. You enter your name, uh, email address, and the message you want, and you click start chatting. It's that easy. Then you've got a paper trail of what you've said. They've got a paper trail. Everything is there. You can log in We're using Facebook or Google Plus. Really simple. This is the number one way I recommend you use or contact customer support because it's the fastest and easiest way to get your questions answered. Once you get into the chat, you know, if I put my information in here, uh, I can then uh, say, uh, hello, uh, I am making a support support video okay then i click start chatting what's going to show up is it's going to tell you where you are in the queue right now i'm queue number one i know a lot of times we call in and somebody said well i sat on the phone for five minutes before they got to me well here i know that i'm number one in the queue which as soon as they're off with their one they're talking to now they're going to contact me Okay, at the bottom, you can add information, you can attach files, you can do different things, you can option and you can end the chat. Okay, so I'm gonna end this chat because I really don't need to chat with them. It says, do you wanna end it? Yes. The second way to contact customer support, if you scroll to the bottom of uh, your uh, website, you'll see the phone number there. Here it is, phone number for US and Canada, Great Britain, Europe, uh, different, and it's 919-900-4300. So that's the second way to contact them. You can call and, and you're going to maybe put on, put on hold for a minute or two. No big deal. The third way is you can email support. Okay. So if it's after hours, what's cool about chat is I can go in there and leave a chat after hours and it'll say, we're not in the office right now. We'll get back with you. That's kind of the same thing as sending an email. If I'm not in a hurry to get a response, if I don't need something right this second, if I'm not looking for my username and password when I log in, uh, I can just click compose an email. And then for there, uh, I have uh, their information saved 
in, uh, in my contact list. So I'm going to start typing in support. And there it comes up. It's support at touchstoneessentials.com. Support at touchstoneessentials.com. You see, I've already got them saved into my contacts so that I have their phone number in here. I have their email address in here. And I can just quickly type in support and send them an email. The subject of the email, username and password. Okay. And then send them an email. Okay. So three ways to contact them. I recommend chat number one, email number two, and uh, phone calls number three. Uh, I just think that, that those are the quickest and easiest ways to do that. So two simple things, how to log into your back office, how to click in and go there, how to contact customer support. Okay. Hey, quick and easy videos. Hope uh, everyone has a great day and we'll see you on the very next video. This is Alan Newell signing out from the Good Insides YouTube channel.